Whoa, I legit bent down for one second, put my head down, and this is how my hair looks. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. Today is all about voiceovers. I'm gonna share with you three free things that you can use to do your voiceovers for YouTube. These things that I'm going to show you are definitely items you do or have around your house, especially if you do make YouTube videos. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe because I do a lot more videos similar to this. And make sure to follow me on Instagram at Misha.Adams because when I'm not posting here on YouTube, I'm posting in real time over on Instagram and we can have a little community over there as well. So make sure to go follow me over there. Anyways, simple quick video, okay? So let's get started. Okay, the first thing of course is using your phone, especially iPhones have good quality when it comes to talking into the phone to have voice recording. So if you think that your cell phone has good quality, play around with the sound recording app that they give you in the phone or download one. See how you like how it sounds. So sometimes when you're farther away from your phone, it'll sound a little bit better, not too far. And when you're too close, it might sound muffled and not too good. So play around with how the audio is on your phone. Affordable substitute for voiceovers. I use this for voiceovers still. It's been working fine for me. And I have a full in-depth video on how to record with your voiceovers. I'm gonna link that video so you all can watch. Yeah. So let's go into the next one. Okay, the next one. <laughs> I bet you all didn't think about this. The next one is using your camera for voiceovers. Now, I have a DSLR camera. This can be done with any single camera that you have, as long as it has a microphone in your camera, okay? <laughs> so make sure your camera has a microphone that you're able to do video recording in, and you can definitely get away with voiceovers for your camera. Now, you're probably like, um, how is that supposed to work? <laughs> this is so funny. I kind of thought about it the other day, and I was like, wait, this works. Okay, so you're gonna wanna turn on your camera, go into the rec movie recording with a video recording setting, and then you're gonna focus your camera on anything you can focus it on the wall you can focus it on your face you can focus it on your toes it does not even matter then you're going to press record now a lot of people are like oh my camera has such horrible audio quality if you have a microphone that only works for on top of your camera definitely you plug that into your camera if you don't work with the audio on your camera I feel like the audio is fine just be close to it everything will sound clear and good and then you're just gonna talk into the camera so you're gonna record you're gonna be like hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to show you all how to brush your hair testing testing Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to show all of you how to brush your hair. So if you're interested, stay tuned and let's begin. Simple, okay? You're going to press stop, you're going to send it to your computer. Once you send it to your computer, you're going to upload it on your editing program. You're going to either turn the video into an audio file or just drag the video clip underneath the clip that you're actually using and then you can play it. And welcome today I'm gonna to show all of you how to brush your hair so if you're interested stay tuned and let's begin and then it will be an audio file for your video so cool best idea ever I swear use it try it so easy so you can either turn the video clip into an audio file and then drag it onto your program but if you don't you're just gonna drag the audio underneath the video clip that you want the audio to be playing on Okay, last thing that you can use is your laptop. Here, I just have my laptop right here. You can use your laptop to actually record voiceovers. Just make sure you know exactly where on your laptop is the microphone, and then you wanna speak directly into the microphone. It should sound really good. If you watched my how to edit with Final Cut Pro video, I did the voiceover for that video with the microphone on my laptop. It wasn't this laptop. I think I was using a Dell laptop too. And the quality on the Dell laptops for microphones, super. Listen to how it sounds with the laptop, okay? Make sure you speak clear, not too close and not too far. Practice and see what works out. I'm telling you, you can use your laptop. You don't have to spend what you don't want to spend, okay? So let me see, let me see. What is this, chicken grease? This. I'm gonna show you two different ways that you can do this. If you're using a Mac, you can go to QuickTime Player. My computer is making so much noise. You're gonna go to QuickTime Player on your Mac. You're gonna go to New Audio Recording, and then you're just going to record. Make sure that you're near the microphone. Make sure that you're near the microphone on your laptop. So I'm gonna be near the microphone over here, and you're just going to press record and talk into the, the microphone. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm gonna show you all how to brush your hair. So if you're interested, Stay tuned and let's begin. I'm so extra. But that's what you want to do, and then we're going to save it and let's listen to it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to show you all how to brush your hair. So if you're interested, stay tuned and let's begin. Comment down below or like up right now if you feel that that sounds good. And then the second way is by going to Final Cut Pro or whatever editing app you have. Movie Maker has this option as well. In Movie Maker, you just go to new audio recording or there's a microphone symbol and you just click the microphone symbol and it says either to record from your desktop, the microphone from your computer or you like input it external. I haven't used Movie Maker for a while, but it does give you that option. I used to do it. 
And once you go into Final Cut Pro, you're gonna open up the project that you're in. You're gonna go to Window at the top, and then this is gonna drop down. And you're gonna go all the way down to Record VoiceOver. Once Record VoiceOver pops up, you're going to press the Record button. It's gonna count you down. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to show you all how to brush your hair. So if you're interested, stay tuned, and let's begin. And then with Final Cut Pro, it automatically puts the audio in the spot that you want it to be. We're gonna press play and listen to it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to- Now I talk way too close to the camera, so I'm gonna try this again. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. Okay, so then I'm gonna play it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. Today I'm gonna to show you all something cool and new, so if you're interested, stay tuned, and Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. I love these. Okay, so which one was your favorite? I legit like every single one of them and I will use every single one of them. Yeah, so those are three free things that you can use for voiceovers for your YouTube videos. The audio quality on all these are great. No matter what laptop you have, what camera you have, what phone you have, just make sure that you play around with the audio, see how it sounds if you like it. So that's it for today's video. I hope you found at least one thing useful out of this video and definitely some ideas for you. So that's it for today's video and I'll see you all in my next one. Au revoir. Bye, but here's some more videos if you want to watch.